What's up, Savvy Expats? We are in Makati, so we're gonna check out Greenbelt Mall. I'm gonna show you guys all the shops, the stores, the restaurants that they have here. And as always, if you want access to exclusive content and a community of expats, that'll be all in the link in the description down below. So without wasting time, let's go check out Greenbelt Mall. All right, guys, so walking in into Greenbelt Mall, there's a lot of different entrances, but first thing that we see here is a lot of stores. Uh, we have Watson, there's a kiosk and a vendor there. And so we walk past the kiosk area and then here we have more of the established stores. We have a Puma here, Marilou Jewelry, and Bruno's Barber. It just walks all the way down and then it opens up to more of the mall. And so for those of you guys that have never been to Greenbelt Mall, this is considered to be more of a quote unquote like posh, more expensive high end area. So this is like the business district of Makati. So obviously you have a lot more higher end stores here. You have a Tommy Hilfiger, there's watch stores like Rettling. So more of a posh, more expensive area just so you guys know. And so as you guys can see, they got some pretty nice shops here. I know that a lot of you guys, well, most of you guys watching this channel are expats. And so if you're coming here for the cost of living factor, this is probably not the place to go. But nevertheless, a lot of nice shops here, a lot of nice places to check out. And so walking further down here, guys, you can kind of see that it's actually a pretty big mall. I will say this, the air conditioning is fantastic. Here we have a Rolex store. Rolex, there was a Bretling back there. Here's an Omega store. So a lot of watch jewelry places here. There's the Omega store, very cool. And uh, not only do you have jewelry stores here, watch stores here, a lot of perfume places too, as you can see. Mont Black, Super Saga. So yeah, guys, pretty big store. And this is only the first floor we're on too. There's a Dune London, Calvin Klein. So a lot of American stores as well, European too. Big diversity here. Mango. And again, we came here on a Thursday because if we were to come here on a Sunday, you guys have no idea. It would be even more crowded than this. And then you just walk further down and then you have more of the uh, vendors, Jamaican pate shop, chicken buckaloed. While there was strict quarantine here in the Philippines, this is what we'd always get my grandfather. We'd order a grab for him because he was always stuck in his condo here in Makati. So we'd always order him chicken buckaloed. Ooh, they have a Cafe Med here. This is one of our favorite restaurants in BGC at the BGC branch. Yep, and then that's where we entered down there. And so of course guys, there are multiple floors to this mall. It's, an, it's actually a pretty decent sized mall and all the shops here are nice. So we're gonna go up to the second floor and see what else we have here. One of the first restaurants I saw was a Texas Roadhouse. There's a Vietnamese propaganda, I think it says. And then an Apudo here as well. And also a Chili's. And this mall really just stretches down. Here we have an American Eagle, a Pandora, Levi's, Marks and Spencer's, Lush. Yeah, a lot of places here and a huge variety of shops to check out. So let's just walk through here a bit guys, show you more of this mall. A huge variety of options like I said. Nello, Charles and Keith, and even compared to SM Aura, which is, I mean, not really that big of a mall. This area here, Greenbelt, you have a lot more foreign and exported goods here. American, European, as you can see, European right there, Swatch, Marks and Spencers. Yeah, so a lot of American options here. And one thing I also noticed is that BGC, we do have a lot of expats that live there. You see them very commonly there. But uh, because Makati has been around a lot longer, it's a business district, you'll see a lot more expats here for work as well. As you can see, there's also a really nice design to this mall as well. Very classy, very simple, looks great. Some Christmas decorations too. Right there is a Mood Cookies vendor. We love their cookies there. It's kind of thick though. All right, looks like here there are like weaved stuff, more local items here, clothes, weaved bags. There's a Chibo there, jewelry, some mats, silverware. Yeah, this is definitely like the stuff that my grandparents would probably bring back to the US for us. So there is a lot of, not only the you know, expensive goods, but affordable Philippine made goods here as well. So now we're on the third floor and definitely a lot less crowded on this floor. Some of the stores that we have here is the Bose headphones, Cutting Edge, they have scooters there, uh, Craft Central. Yeah, so we're just gonna walk down and see what else they have. There's also a Time Zone and a Toys R Us if you have any kids. But anyways, walking further down, you guys will notice that there's less people up here as compared to the first floor 
where there was a bunch of people. Here you have Nanyang Bread. Ooh, even a Lego store, that's cool. And there's also a fourth floor, which we'll explore later too. And right now we are actually, forgot to mention, we're at Greenbelt 5. So we're gonna explore more down there. Check out the chapel, check out the gardening area. Also Greenbelt 3, which is right there. And so walking further down into the mall, there is more restaurants here. Ramen House, UCC Cafe. What is this? Furniture store. Here's a temper mattress store. Also, Bulgogi Brothers. Yeah, so this is a Korean barbecue place. Yellow Corner, Guava Sketches. And then this is pretty much the end of the line for the third floor. Now let's head up to the fourth floor, see what else they have there. And another thing that's cool here is you also have a Vito Casa, which you have like these appliances, kitchen appliances here. So if you have a condo here in Makati, this would be a great place to look at some kitchen appliances. Some other high-end stores that you have here is a Massimo Dutti as well as a Balenciaga. So both of these stores, I didn't even know that they had here. Actually, the more I walk around, the more I see higher end, more expensive stores. So Green Mall is a really nice place to shop for sure. And so right there you have a Carolina Herrera. Right here you have a Furla. And then down here again is the Massimo Dutti and Balenciaga. But what really shocked me right here is that you have antique tea stuff right here. So that's really interesting. I've never seen old antique tea stores like this, which actually it looks like a nice store. Something that you'd find like, I don't know, Mrs. Mrs. Nesbitt shopping. Bye. Don't you get it? You see the hat? I am Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> Snap out of it, Buzz! <laughs> Here is a Bali. Bali, I mean. Karyol Genevieve. Honestly, guys, it's been a while since I've last been here on Green in Greenbelt, so bear with me here. Mark Jacobs. Yeah, very nice stores here, for sure. And something I forgot to show and tell you guys is that in Greenbelt 5, there's like two store sections, one on the right, and then you walk across and one on the left. So I was able to check out both sections of Greenbelt 5 because there's like a bridge that crosses through. As you can see right above me, that's a bridge that crosses through to both Greenbelt sides. So that was pretty much all of Greenbelt 5 that we checked out. Very nice shops, very nice stores. Overall, a nice mall. Alright, and so walking out from the Greenbelt 5 area towards Greenbelt 3, there's a ton of greenery here, which I really like. Like I said, Greenbelt is one of my favorite malls, actually my favorite mall in the Philippines, because they incorporated like an indoor-outdoor style feel, almost like where I'm from. There's a mall called Oak Brook, very indoor-outdoor style feel at this mall. And so walking down further in Greenbelt 3, there's like a whole line of eateries that we have to check out. And so this area is cool, it's called Bloom. It's like a bar and cafe area, it's all outdoor very interesting and walking further down there's a coffee bean and a tea leaf here a lot of outdoor seating area and dining and so this area is actually closer to Greenbelt 5 I wanted to check this out because it's a whole line of eateries that we haven't seen here and I've never walked down here either simply Thai another bar area here and they have huge kiosks here they have a joy bean which is like soy soy milk or something like that and then a really gigantic kiosk called Mot Shandan I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. And uh, it looks like wine. Yeah, so from the looks of it inside, you got some wine. This is probably the biggest, most fancy kiosk I've ever seen. You even have the gold pillars, the gold decorations here. So it's all like wine or actually champagne. And then right next to this kiosk, there is a pond with fish in here, which is awesome. And it just stretches down here. So you guys can really see it's a very green mall here at Greenbelt. And in addition to the greenery that they have here on Greenbelt 5 and also the pond, the palm trees, they also have some eateries here in the center area. There's a Wildflower Bakery, Las Flores, and then also a Starbucks here. And as a matter of fact, that Starbucks in the corner, it was actually never a Starbucks reserve. We've been here in the past several times and 
It was always just a normal Starbucks, so I guess they just switched to reserve now. And there's also a fish pond that's running under the bridge that I'm on right now. There's all this greenery around it, a lot of trees, a lot of palm trees and bushes. Very cool. And another thing I want to show you guys is this. So this is the Greenbelt Chapel. This is where my grandparents would attend the masses here. So if you're Catholic, this is actually a place where you can have the services and masses attend that. And uh, very cool. I've never been to a mall other than here in the Philippines where there's a place of worship and a chapel like this. But I mean, the absolute top-notch thing about Greenbelt Mall, in my opinion, is the way that they laid this place out. They were able to incorporate all this greenery. This has actually been a mall that's been around for a while now. And even add these streams of fish pond. Very nice mall. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but I am getting hungry, so let's eat, shall we? Thank you. So we are back in BGC. We just left Greenbelt and we're having a meal now here in BGC at the Manam here and it is absolutely delicious. We got the crispy pork sisig, the lechon koale, the uh, garlic rice, uh, egg rolls, and some palabo. So the food is delicious. If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's try and get this video to a thousand likes if you guys want more Makati tours. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. <laughs>